Hi guys, I'm Harley from Vapebill and today I've got a cold. But today we're doing the review on the Z-Lide, or Z-Lide as I'm pretty sure it's called, Tube by Inakin. It's a mouth to lung kit. And I'd like to say a big thank you to Easy Click who sent me the Z-Lide Tube kit for the purposes of our review. Cheers guys! Let's get on with it. So I have literally just received the Zlide by Inakin. Zlide tube, Zlide, Zlide. I think Zlide sounds better, so rather than Zlide. Ah, uh, we'll have a quick look at the coils, seems I received some coils as well. See if they're any different than normal. I hope they are in individual packaging. Interesting. Which is not very uh, rare for Inakin because they also have a T. 18 coils are, the 18 E's. So we'll just pause them for now. And crack straight on. I do like this kind of packaging, where it's got a little pulley slip out on. Yeah. And I shall also make note where that was, there was a slit. Not so that's to go out, that was pinned down, but for a slit there, which made it easy to open, which is quite nice. For extra bit of care and attention. So was light box. Nothing quite interesting about that. I do like the signature though, but looks quite nice. There's light box. Open. In here we've got the tank, the stick, a spare glass, and a spare coil. That caught me out. Off guard. Charger, micro USB, letting me down again. Battery care guide, always nice to see. Warranty and safety. And quick start guide. Oh, we've got something else as well. That's different drip tip. So it's not much different really. I think it's got a slightly bigger hole. We'll have a look at that in more detail during the review. There you go guys. That's it. So this little bad boy is 135mm by 25mm. The mod bit only, which is the battery bit, is 88mm by 23mm. It's got a whopping 4mm e-liquid capacitor, which is not TPD compliant, but I'm pretty sure they'll put a regular in there to make it TPD compliant. Battery size is quite impressive, it's 3000 milliamp power. It's got a resistance range from 0.4 all the way up to 3 ohms. It's got 10 second cutoff protection, it's stainless steel, it's got a 5 turn thread. It's got a 1 amp charging rating, it's top fill. And like most tanks these days, it's childproof, which basically means you can't open the top fill easily. By now there should be a picture about here somewhere, or it'll be somewhere, I don't know, of the colours you can get. We've got stainless steel, spiral, pink, blue, forest camo and black. So my opinion's a bit that I really like about the review, because it's what I think. So straight away, the battery charge, uh, the charging port is just micro USB, which you know really turns me off. I like my USB-C, 21st century. Anything these days that's brought out new should have USB-C in it because it's the latest technology. Why would you put micro USB in? <sighs> and it's all right having 3,000 milliamp hour battery, but it took about three hours to charge. Uh, who's got time for that? Although it did last all day. I think it lasted me about two days. A day and a half, depending on what coil you're using. So, three hours not too bad because I think I only charge it twice, and that was to try and gauge how long it did to charge. Because generally, I charge all my stuff during the night while I'm sleeping. Don't tell me it's a bad fire risk because I know, but that's what I do. So, it, it doesn't really matter if it takes three hours to charge because I use most of the battery and I go to sleep. 
Something that I really don't like is the LED indicator. Now, the LED indicator, usually the battery indication is 100% to 70% to 30% to 0%. But with this bad boy, it's 100% to 40% to 10% to 1%. And I think that's just a bit far too much to the low side. Could be done with being a bit more distributed. And then, even more to prove my point, the charging is red up to 90%, and then after 90%, it's green if it's above 90 percent and the LED light goes off when it's fully charged. Yet again, come on guys, you could at least let us know it's half charged or 70 percent, I mean 90 percent, 100 percent, uh, it's a bit crap. It took me a while to figure out how to open this tank because I quite often just like to play with it before I read the manual, get a real feel of it, see how easy it is to use without any prior knowledge. And the reason it's quite hard, it took me quite a while is because you have to remove the drip tip. Now I'm not quite sure if you can see on my poor camera, there is an extra little nib, knob, nutch, ledge, whatever, that basically ledges, wedges between the opening cap and the base of the tank so it locks into place. If you remove that halfway or fully, it then opens. It's quite a nice slidey thing. Happy days! It has got just a blur floor. Which does quite well. I, for, for, here we go. For direct lung on the 1.2 ohm coil, it tasted burnt. On 0.8, it did it, but not without any flavour. So it's probably alright that the eyes have got any huge airflow. However, the airflow is really generous, and you can pull direct to lung, obviously, because I've just told you I did. And it can also be quite restrictive if you turn the airflow right the way down. Using the 1.2 ohm and the 0.8 mouth to lung, it was really good at fl producing flavour. That's a good thing, obviously. And it's quite, uh, for mouth to lung, it's quite decent clouds as well. And when you do do uh, direct lung, you still get quite a big vapour output, which is really cool. Now, variable wattage. It's not bypass mode, it is technically variable wattage because at the 1.2 ohm coil, it fires at 13 watts, at the 1. Point... No, no, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, it's technically got variable wattage because it's not bypass, it's not unregulated, so, and it's not ohms low. If it's below, if it's sub ohm, below 1 ohm, then it's 16 watts it fires at, above 1 ohm, it fires at 13 watts. So there you go, it's technically got variable wattage depending what coil you use. Boom. It doesn't have any variable power settings. And don't get me wrong, I know for a beginner, or a starter should I say, you don't really need a variable power setting. But uh, um, a lot do, and I do think it helps encourage people. Because if it's a bit too harsh, you can turn it down. If it's not harsh enough, you can turn it up. Yada yada, you get the drift. And there's pretty much just one last thing I want to say about this, is the durability of the mod. You can see there's a few scratches. But if you look around here, I'll try and get the pictures depending if it's not good enough quality. And around the rim, the colour's chipped off, faded off, rubbed off, I don't know. But that's not really decent in my eyes. I used this for a week before reviewing it. And yeah, alright, it's been in my pocket with loose change and keys and whatnot. But I don't expect that much wear and tear that quick, that easy. Sorry guys, I've had scratch maybe, but it's not the old scratch, it's like chipping, if you know what I mean. And that's just not good enough. So, that's my review guys. I'm sorry I'm not very well. Uh, if you want more information or a bit more of a detailed review, click over to my guys at Easy Click. Uh, they will give you the lowdown on the review that I wrote. So on to the bit that you're all waiting for, and I know you are, don't lie. The Geek Vip X Kit, um, Aegis X Kit. Uh, this week's winner, and the winner of the Geek Vip X Kit is Daniel Gardner. Gardner, sorry, Gardner, no, no D, it's just Gardner, sorry, um, let me have you one Danielle, because uh, I know you've supported me for a while, um, sorry for the rest of you, if you comment on this video you'll be in for a chance of winning the Inakin X Slide, Z -Z 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 -Slide. sorry I'm, my head hurts a lot, um, don't forget to comment and everything else, uh, read the terms and conditions below, you have to be subscribed you probably have to pay postage. Yada yada. Um, keep you tuned, guys, because in the next couple of weeks, I'm not just going to be doing the Tuesday reviews. There's two or three other reviews I'm going to come in. Next Tuesday, I'm going to try and do the RDA. Uh, but I've got a few other things coming up as well. And I'm going to publish, maybe at some point this week, a video that's hosting a giveaway for 
these t-shirts. So stay tuned, stay cloudy. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, thumbs up, and share my videos, guys, please and thank you. We've done so well, five and a half months and over 700 subscribers. Thank you so much. That's all down to you guys because you're the best in the world. Thank you. And uh, don't forget, the most important thing you can ever do is stay cloudy.